YouTube, uh, this is Glock Ninja. How you doing? I have a surprise, surprise unboxing today, or should I say unpackaging? Because everybody on YouTube that subscribes to me and bothered to finish watching all of my videos will know that I put out the last few videos that I've done were in reference to Linux installing the Ubuntu on my old PC downstairs here in the library. Well, um, thanks to Fedora and a few other YouTubers, we had a Ustream session and uh, we got together and they assisted me in burning a CD or I should say DVD and putting Ubuntu on that and we try to get it installed on the old PC but the best that we could do or best we could manage was to get the computer to run Ubuntu off the disk which is uh, a live disk uh, I'm still unable to install Ubuntu uh, permanently onto the hard drive I don't know why but for some reason it's giving me a disk error or some kind of error message uh, during the install process. Well, several of, not several weeks, but a few weeks, maybe about four, about a month ago, prior to doing the Ustream and getting on uh, YouTube and getting help from Fedora and uh, some of the other YouTubers to get this uh, done, I ordered uh, Ubuntu CD from one of the websites and uh, not knowing that if it was going to come or not um, it finally did today and here it is it came as you can see It has a Ubuntu, Kubuntu, Ubuntu server on this disk. And uh, I don't know if you could make that out. And it was addressed to me, Glock Ninja, or Glock. And uh, let's get to opening it. There it is. I'm pretty impressed um, that it came in such a nice little package. There's Ubuntu 9.04 Desktop Edition. And for something that is free, they do a pretty uh, good job of uh, <coughs> packaging it. It's a it's a cardboard uh, folder or casing and the CD is inside the pocket here it's got all the looks like it looks like it's got all the uh, system requirement information um, install inf install instructions and some information on the packaging here there's the uh, CD very impressive for it being free I didn't have to pay a dime all I did was uh, gave them my address to send the CD okay we're uh, rebooting the machine we have the Ubuntu CD in the CD drive and let's see what happens I want to thank Fedora and all the YouTube uh, viewers who uh, attended my Ustream um, last week and assisted me in trying to help me with installing Ubuntu. Now that we have a, a official CD uh, that came in the mail today, we should be able to install Ubuntu on this computer with no problem. We're going to go with English. We're going to install Ubuntu. And let's 
see what happens. It looks like it's the same um, thing that's going on when we try to install this disk. And uh, this being the 9.04 version, a uh, more updated version, um, <coughs> we'll see what happens. This is this is, however, a working live CD so or DVD, so I can put this in any computer and run Ubuntu. I just have trouble installing it permanently. Let's see what happens here today with this uh, official Ubuntu CD. Looks like it's taking a while. I'll get back with you when it has it has finished installing. Now I'm rebooting. <coughs> It hasn't instructed me to take the CD out, so I'm leaving the CD in. Okay, the CD tray just came out. I'm taking the CD out. <coughs> it is instructing me to remove the disc, close the tray, and press enter to continue. VPR matrix is the make of the computer. The specs on this machine, <coughs> I've uh, made a video of it before. It's a 2.2 gigahertz uh, Pentium 4. It has a uh, ATI or uh, or with 128 megs of RAM so it's not a, a, a very powerful system at all it has a hundred and twenty gig hard drive alright let me put my password in okay username and password has been entered and let's see where we're going with this let's see what Ubuntu 9.0 Zero 04 looks like it is definitely a different screen than Ubuntu 8.10. The color appears to be the same, but it's definitely a little different design. Um, here's the application. Appears that uh, it actually looks cleaner. The graphics looks a lot sharper. So I guess there isn't really an issue with the graphics card there, Fedora. It looks like it's working pretty good. All right, uh, I'm gonna wrap this up. <clears throat> the uh, Ubuntu has officially been permanently installed onto the old PC. And the next step, or the next project, is to install the XP from this machine onto the iMac running bootcamp. So, Fedora and everyone else who's watching this video, please give me suggestions on uh, what applications are best for uh, video editing, sound, whatever, uh, media, multimedia. Uh, I know that most of those applications come with the distro. So, um, whatever uh, application or software suggestions you can give me, I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and join me next time um, at the Ustream uh, session. I don't know when I'm going to do it. It's usually unplanned and spur of the moment, and I hope you guys can make it next time. I, I hold one, and we can talk about uh, all of that's going on in the world of technology.